So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got here today motorcycles. What the hell am I doing here? So the first official question you might be asking, who are Gogoro? Gogoro is a Taiwanese company that developed battery swapping for mopeds, scooters, and motorcycles. This smart scooter over here, well there's a lot of them here in this uh, showroom, is actually their first consumer product. Launched sometime last year and Gogoro Philippines aimed to pioneer mobility swapping here in the Philippines. The range starts off with this Gogoro 2 Premium and then over here to my right and left we have the Gogoro Delight model and the one I'm keen to test drive my first ever one is the gogro super sport fancy name right not very on super sport but anyway you get the idea so let's start off here first with this uh, gogro 2 premium so this is the entry model of the electric scooter lineup here by gogro and i would say with all the models here they all look exactly identical however there's just few minute uh, details you can spot they are actually all different well the base things that are all the same besides this front fascia over here you get led lights with LED repeaters too and as well LED brake lights and I like the look of this GoGro electric scooters doesn't the headlight and tail light look like the helmets of Daft Punk right with this GoGo 2 premium being the anti model well I would say even though I am a non motorcycle person ish this is a very good entry for an electric scooter since again you all know me I love base model stuff Yes, everything here is as base as you can. So here on the left side, you have a compartment over here which can actually store your phone and your key card, which is actually similar like that with of Tesla vehicle. Here it's beside this. So now this electric scooter is now on. So you get a very nice digital display right here in the middle. And I love to the fancy sounds this uh, scooters make. So this is your hazard. And then for indicating left and right. And I noticed too, for this 2 premium, uh, the outer, will turn you off, the outer bezel of this does not blink compared like the one that of the Super Sport, which we'll get to in a bit. So here's your buttons and the layout here of this cluster. It's your standard scooter. So here on the left side, you get your buttons for your lights, turn indicators, and your horn. Which sounds uh, pretty similar like with every other motorcycle or scooters out there. And here on the right side, you get your hazard button. So if you heard that sound just now, this electric scooter is on. So it will have a countdown from 3 seconds, then it will automatically shut down. Another advantage too with uh, electric scooters, well in general with electric mobility vehicles. So back here on the right side, you get your hazard button, opening for the trunk, and then you get your trip, your sport mode button. So to know sport mode is activated, there's a little uh, checkered flag here on the right side, which I like. And then this is your tip computer. And then this is your tip button. So again, it will vary from the Delight and the Super Sport model. And then here below, which is the most important button for me because I have not ridden a motorcycle in almost, what, 7 years already. So this is your Smart Mode, aka Eco Mode. So in case you don't want all the power and you just want to gradually increase the power while you're driving, it's a simple switch here and it says in the cluster on and off. That's pretty much it. So wait, I'll start you up again. So I'll demo something. So you cannot access the boot over here unless this uh, scooter is on. Then, however, though, once you open this up now, this one's a bit interesting. If since you get your two batteries above here, you still can fit a full-size standard helmet right inside. Yes, my race helmet can fit inside here easily. And you're wondering what this extra space is here. Let's check out now the middle variant Gogoro Delight. Now here with this Gogoro Delight model, so this is probably the most popular model, well will be the most popular model here because this just looks the most adventurous, the least sportier amongst the other three variants of the Gogoro here. Generally you still get the same looks but here now in front this entire stock and the cluster looks just a little bit different since there's just less gloss black here. The controls is exactly the same. So even the smart, the, the sport button, the trip button is exactly the same. All the side mirrors are now chromed out compared to the gloss black ones of the uh, base model to premium model and unlike that model you still get your pads over here on either side there's leather anyway so just in case you have a uh, sudden braking your knees won't get in this part of the motorcycle and unlike the, again the two premium you don't get a cubby space anymore but at least now you have cup holders here and as well they're all bronze so this is just a little bit of the drawback of this delight model i'd rather have the cubby space than the cup holder but hey if you're more 
into the Starbucks kind of person. Yes, this Delight model will be the perfect uh, one for you. And there's just few more accessories here for this Delight model. Oh yeah, too. For all of the uh, range here of the Go Girl scooters, you can as well accessorize all of your stuff here in this uh, flagship showroom. And then same case too, like with the two premium, you get your key card. But the activation is just somewhere here at the farther rightmost. But still, it works. I mean, there you go. And then here's for your trip. Everything, everything's pretty much the same. But unlike now with the two premium, like with the Super Sport, this Delight model, once you indicate left to right, the display here as well changes. And then here again for your boot, pretty much the same. And unlike now with the base model 2 premium, like with the Super Sport, which I'll get to after this, still have your batteries here and then a boot here for your full face helmet. Now you get a refresher part here. So that means this won't stink up just in case you're diving in a very hot sunny day. So it will not stink up here in the boot. So we're done here with this Delight model. There you go. Now let's go to my, probably my most favorite model, the Super Sport. So here now with this bad boy Go Girl Super Smart model. Now this is more like it. So apologies, I'm in, literally in front of the uh, door showroom. Being the Super Sport model, you get this pretty unique color and a two-tone setup. I think similar like with the two premium. And again, like with the two premium, you get blacked out here for your side mirrors. And the controls looks as well very much similar like with the two delight. But this time, all of the buttons now are gloss black. I know I said on my channel a lot, I hate gloss black stuff. But for once in this super sport model, this looks just a little bit better than the Delight and the 2 premium model. So being the super sport model, you get a little windscreen here in front of the instrument cluster looks and everything else is exactly the same but you can tell with all three vans yet again are the badges like here for the super sport there's one here on the seat and just one below here for the belt right there's still a belt since this is an electric scooter so controls here pretty much the same here and there and weirdly unlike the delight model well this is why it's my preferred choice too you get again the cubby space here rather than the cup holder than that of the two delights so start this up again key card once again right once you start it up you get the indicators yet again hazard button so the reason we they all sound different by the way which i'll show you just in a bit uh, i just discovered it just now but what's now unique with this uh super sport model well the first all models get a reverse button here i've never seen a scooter that has a reverse function but for this a super sport model this as well acts as your cruise control once at speeds around 10 to 60 kilometers per hour you can activate this and don't worry this will not engage reverse while you're going forwards you so you will not fly out off your scooter and here to open the boot up pretty much the same like with the two delay you get your refresher here and then for your two batteries oh there's a phone here so this is another specialty for all of the electric scooters out here you can install this gogoro app so this is your GoGoro app. So best way to explain this since this is a car channel, this is similar like that of Honda Sensing apps and Nissan Connect services. Like example with the Nissan Almera. So even though you have the key, smart card key with you, you can unlock there since. So that's things on now. And then you can do other modes here like open the trunk. There you go, it's open. And then you can do a lot of stuff here like locating GoGo uh, charging stations, well, battery stations rather since this is a battery swapping scooter. And then you can check your range and actually a lot more stuff. Even tire pressure, that's pretty amazing. That's why all of the three models I featured had different sounds and lights because you can change it all here. Oh, uh, that's the map, apologies. Oh dear. There you go. And then the lights. The sound. Oh, sorry, I don't know how to operate this. This is my first time. Another interesting fact, though, I've been told by the Gogoro agents. So, this front suspension is inspired by airplane landing gear. Not to my surprise, I mean, there's a lot of similarities. But if we go here to the rear and some snippets of this discontinued Gogoro S1 model, the rear's been inspired by Formula 1 race cars. So, that's more of my jam and that's more like it. So, pairing this Gogoro electric scooters, well, for both these two premium and this Delight model, these ones are powered by. 6.4 kilowatt hour battery aka 8.6 horsepower with 26 newton meters of torque for the super sport model you get the same battery capacity but a little bit more powerful so that one is a 7.2 kilowatt hour 
or aka 9.7 horsepower with 27.15 newton meters of torque so you know why now i picked this super sport model for obvious reasons so without further ado this is probably again one of the scariest things done on my channel let's go for a dive starting off with this before i ride the super sport model Oh my god! Whoa, that's... No, no, I don't want sport mode. That's crazy. fast I love it brakes are pretty strong too surprisingly handles pretty well but you can definitely feel the weight when you go what left or right but surprisingly for a scooter I'm surprised this is good I like it okay one pull I kind of used to this power now sport mode oh my god wow look at the speed oh my god that's enough that's enough Ah, so you can do smart mode and then while being in sport mode at the same time. Okay. So how fast were you going? <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> 50 kilometers per hour. Damn. 50. Okay. Around what, here. What would they like watch you? Okay. Man. That's reverse. That's crazy. There's a reverse mode? Reverse mode. Oh. So this is the delight model. Hi Ross. You're on the vlog again. Yes. It's not what it's The special feature is the walking mode. Mm -hmm. So in walking mode, you have to hold this one. Left this one? Signal, yeah. Hold lang siya. Automatic na siya mag move forward. Oh. So without even without traffic. Yo, that's crazy. I like that. Only the light gets this uh, walking yes. mode. Okay. I hope you can hear me, by the way, because I'm wearing a balaclava, right? So test number two with the delight. Why well, I wanted to drive this one even though it's the same as the two premium because it gets I know, bigger tires but smaller wheels. So Ooh. Okay. First impressions. Then the ride's somewhat a bit better. Maybe again because of the thicker wheels as such. Oh yeah, this one rides a bit better. The performance, yeah, feels okay, somewhat the same. But I'm curious with the handling of this. Okay, there's another two premium just right in front of me. Hope you can see because I wanted to focus solely on the cluster. Just sport mode. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, that's insane. I have to remind myself that I'm using my hand as a throttle. <coughs> Jesus! Wow! I've never experienced anything 
like this is amazing. It's like an electric go kart. No, no plug there. Wow, you have to be a bit gentle on the the, the what you call that the throttle, the twist stick, whatever you call it. Yeah, because this thing is mighty fast. So, right. Jeez, that's that's an insane experience. Wow. And look at walk mode. Look at that. That's crazy. Efficiency in no scooter. Mm -hmm. So, for example, this one. Meron siyang dalawang mode. So, we have save, tapos we have pass. So, pag sa save, nakakap lang yung speed natin ng up to 60 km per hour. Ah, you can set the uh, mm -hmm. speed limiter? Yes. Tapos, pag naka-fast ka, yun, wala na siyang speed limiter. So, Pero may brake regen naman to, di ba? Meron, yes. You yung, can set it only ayun. using the app? Hmm? Yes, dun sa application. Ah, so, there's no button here for, ah, for that feature? For the regen naman, pag naka-on yung scooter, uh, we'll use the compartment button. Para Long press. Hindi, pag, ano lang talaga sir, press lang talaga. Tapos ah. mag-off yung region natin. Ah, okay, this logo. Okay, okay. Now I know. So, si Super Sport, ABS yung brakes niya. Ito yung sa front, same pa rin naman, front and rear. Pero unlike dun sa S2 and sa Delight, ito yung front and rear. Pero unlike dun sa S2 and sa Delight, hindi na siya synchronized braking. So, ah, so, so no, only the synchronized braking is with this one? With yeah? the S2 and, and the, the Delight. Ah, so this one's the full one and then just the front. This, no sir, ito lang yung front and then ito pa rin yung rear Ah, okay, Pero, okay. Uh, ABS to Ah, so like split na mm, yes. And then, if not mistaken sir, sorry sir This is the world's first digital tax and yes, control system Yes, correct okay, So okay. here, you can see na naka pro siya But you can actually change it to Number one To standard And then you can also turn it off via here So yeah ah. But, uh, Turn it on, first. please. Yes, yes, no, no worry, no worry. Turn it and on, ayan. Also, ganun Pero okay na. naman. So, if you toggle it, that's off na. Mm. Ah, okay. I think, sige, I think off naman. So, naka-on naka naman siya to all throughout. So, okay. So, ayan. Also, meron na rin siyang tire pressure monitoring system. So, that's ah, the front and that's okay. the rear. Okay. And then, if you... Your bias pala, no? Because it's your real drive. Tama, diba? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then, ito. Pag Same controls pa naman. Here, yeah. Same controls of the meter and then the range. Okay. But for this one, si Super Sport, it has cruise control. The yeah, the 10 so to the 60 control. then, diba? Yes. Okay. At least 10 kilometers and then automatic na siyang mag -aad. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, Wish me luck. Tawag tayong shortcuts. Yeah. So, ang shortcut nito is naka-activate yung kick and start niya. Meaning? Meaning you don't have to press the go button anymore. Ah, so just so press just the, the brake. brake and then you have to kick the side stand. Ah, Tapos mag-on na siya. Okay. So, this one's on. Ah, okay. Ayan, may lalabas na go. <laughs> start na siya. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, there's the traction. How oh, cool. Mm. Right. But don't worry, sir. Naka-on yung traction ka to niya. Okay, okay. Ready? Bye. Oh, there's a low. Okay, okay. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God. This is yep. One horsepower and one newton meter of torque makes the difference. Jeez. Okay, handle somewhat the same like with the two premium. Smart off. Let's go. Oh my God. Wow. Good. Okay. Hail Mary mode. This is sport mode on. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Jeez, that's so fast.
Okay, I love this bike. One more, one more time. Jeez, jeez, Jesus Christ, Jesus! Oh my God. Fly, baby. And I got the hang of this reverse bot, uh, button. Uh, top speed is one kilometer too there. But very good for parking something this heavy. So, how was the overall experience, bro? Uh, craziest day of my life. Even, yeah, I heard you screaming. Better, even better than go karting. <laughs> batteries and then you insert them somewhere in here once that's done Another two will come out right there. Then you can just simply put it in here in your GoGo scooter. So as well to all models, I even I tried, have a range of 170 kilometers, which is actually pretty good for small and electric scooter. So that concludes my crazy ever experience of my first ever motorcycle review here on my channel. So I couldn't take enough here to GoGo Philippines in their main flagship showroom here in Greenbelt, Makati. So as well for the prices of all of these scooters, so starting off with the two premium, it starts at 255,000 pesos and then we move up to the favorite delight model which I kind of personally like if the Super Sport did not exist. That one costs 270,000 pesos and then we move up to my favorite ever crazy Super Sport model that is 285,000 pesos. For, so for the prices of all of the electric scooters, I think this is a very uh, welcome addition to the mobility market here. Not just for uh, scooters, but even for electric vehicles out there. Cars, name it, trucks, vans. But for these prices, once again, it may be steep for some, but this is a very, very unique electric scooter. So again, that concludes my first ever uh, motorcycle review. If you want me to do more of this, let me know in the comments down below. So, hope you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you hopefully with more future motorcycle reviews. Bye-bye.